Hello, what's that college football guy here with another video. I want to apologize for what yesterday I mentioned in the comments in the second video about the late games. I actually made a video about the early morning games and some of the ones including Tennessee scaring the hell out of me in the early part of the game. But uh, for some reason, I had downloaded it. It got on the site. It was uploaded. I talked to YouTube and say why it didn't show up, why it didn't post, and they don't have an answer. I haven't heard back. So I have no idea why it didn't post up. I'm not worried about it. So what we're going to do in this video is this. We're going to go through the scores for the top 25, what happened in those games, run through it, and we're also going to do the games for our subscribers and the games that schools you've mentioned. Now, as of the schools everybody's mentioned here, we have 16. This is an idea I have, and I'm going to mention at the end of this. We have 16 schools that our subscribers, including myself, have as their favorite school. So we're going to get into that. I have an idea of maybe doing a, a two lists or three lists, actually, if you can think about it. Three lists in the top 25. Um, the top 25 from the AP, my top 25, and then maybe a third. But first off, let's get to the AP top 25 what actually happened. This is last week's poll, what they did this week. I'll be doing another one, the wrap-up. This is basically going to be the wrap-up show for the games, and then I'm going to make another video probably tomorrow, because why am I doing this so late when I'm on here? We've had thunderstorms all day, power outage, internet outage, and to everybody around here's confusion. No cell service. For some reason, we're all running 3G. We can run 5G is fine on a normal day, but for some reason with these storms here or whatever, we're running 3G. Internet's back up and the power's back up, obviously, but so we can do it. But we all couldn't figure out why for five and a half hours we were on almost no, yeah, no data. Phone worked, but just nobody had any data. No matter what company you had, nobody had any data. I mean, we have on Verizon, we have guys at AT&T, there's, um, I mean, T-Mobile, where I'm at, doesn't work. The only two carriers out here that work out here are Verizon and AT&T. We do have T-Mobile and a couple other guys who are here, and nobody has, they didn't have service at all of any kind. We only have 3G, so, and basically no upload, download. It was crazy. But, so I'll do this video today, and tomorrow I'm going to do a video from the truck about the uh, AP... The new AP Top 25, and what actually I can do is here, we'll do the scores here. The new AP Top 25, we'll do that tomorrow, as well as my Top 20. But I'll bring up the third one, and that third one I'm going to let you all decide on, if it's going to happen or not. So that way I can find out for this video and find out if I even need to make it. If not, I won't even do it. But let's go through the Top 25. First off, number one, Georgia. What happened? <laughs> Y'all beat Kent State barely 39-22. This game was close. Like you were sleepwalking. Like, all we got to do is show up and beat Kent State. Hey, um, Kent State may be a max school and considered somewhat bad. They played a lot of Power 5 schools. Played some, uh, G they played some tough opponents. And they did, they're not exactly losing by a lot. They played a tough schedule. So they, it's nothing new for them. So that's why they can play tough. And they played Georgia tough. 39-22, but Georgia won. Alabama beat up Vanderbilt 55-3. Holy cow. Ohio State. They took care of damage on Wisconsin. Wisconsin was just no show. Wisconsin team don't we really known for ferocious, you know, for a great running game and a ferocious defense. And that didn't happen. Ohio State's defense was just all over the place. But that's Jim Dole's their defensive coordinator who really knows how to coach a defense. That's the reason why Oklahoma State was so good last year. We got number four, Michigan. They eked out a victory over Maryland, 34-27 in Big Ten play. So that's going to be an interesting thing to go on here. I kind of saw a little bit of highlights on it and back and forth on it, and I wish I could have watched it. <laughs> I'm a Maryland fan who's in there. Then let me know in the comments what you thought of the game, and I'm giving you an honest evaluation what you thought of the game. Let me know down in the comments. But anyway, Michigan beat Maryland 34-27. Then number five, Clemson, in a double overtime thriller, beat number 21, Wake Forest 51-45. This was like college football on a pinball machine. I mean, this was crazy. I mean, if you're not, I wasn't a fan of either one of them, and I got to watch a little bit of the game. Man, it was a fun game to watch. It was a fun game to watch. Um, but uh, Wake Forest just didn't have enough horses. I was questioning the quarterback play and questioning the fact they could score enough points. Well, I kind of, well, I'm maybe not so worried about that anymore. And then we get <laughs> to number six, Oklahoma. The team Oklahoma State has the most trouble playing in recent years is in Texas. It's Kansas State. And guess what happened? Kansas State went into Norman 
and beat Oklahoma 41 to 34, pulled off the upset. That means they've beaten Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, excuse me. Kansas State has beaten Oklahoma two of the last three years. Hey, and this is with two different coaching staffs. Because Lance Leopold's only been there two years. So this is going to be interesting right now. And I saw some bits of the game there, and they got sliced up. Oklahoma defense supposed to have been good. And like I said, like, what's the difference between Oklahoma situation, Ohio State situation? Ohio State has athletes and a defensive coordinator. Oklahoma's got a defensive coordinator who's now the head coach, but let's be honest here. Lincoln Riley didn't exactly do anybody any favors because most of his recruits were offensive. He didn't do anybody any favors with his recruiting. It was all offense, so there was nobody to work with. So, I mean, they, they hung out and did pretty good, all things considered. But I think this may be the stages for things to come. USC beats Oregon State. Seven, or number 7 USC beats Oregon State 17-14. Fan charges out on the field and all this other stuff going on. Oregon State, first time they had played a serious offense all year. And turns out to be was a defensive game for both schools. But uh, SC, hang on to win. Speaking of hanging on, number 8 Kentucky barely beat Northern Illinois 31-23. Didn't get a chance to see any of this game. Anybody did let me know down in the comments about this one, because I'm like, how did this happen? Number nine, Oklahoma State didn't play. Number 10, Arkansas. Well, they lost a slugfest to number 23, Texas A&M, 23 to 21. I saw highlights of this game. This was, Arkansas is known for being a physical team. Texas A&M is known for being a physical team. And this is, I call this an ER game, because somebody probably got sent to it. But it was... Brutal and Texas ain't, and I feel bad. The game, ugh. I'm not going into it because I'm not going to get depressed. Because I was looking at the game going, really? That's a hell of a way in the game. If you don't look up the highlights for the end of the game, you'll find out what I'm talking about. Number 11, Tennessee. Look, if it wasn't for Billy Napier making some of the most boneheaded decisions, perhaps in the history of the SEC in college football, if he didn't make those decisions, Florida would have won. I can admit it. Florida would have won. But because of so many going for it on fourth down, so many two-point conversion tries, just I don't know what he was thinking. But Tennessee survives. I'm going to put it just like that. Survives Florida 38-33. to They beat number 20 Florida. That was just, that game was crazy. The onside kick recovery, the play bound there. Hendon Hooker running for his, running around everywhere he can go. Both quarterbacks were the, were the offenses of the team. I mean, Everybody was just, it was crazy in that game. But let's get into it right here. Right here. I'm talking about number 12, NC State. They beat, you blew out UConn 41 to 10. Number 13, Utah. I'm sorry, my Sun Devil guy, but Utah beat Arizona. 13, Utah beat Arizona State 34 to 13. Then we're talking number 14, Penn State beats up on Central Michigan 33 to 14. Number 15, Oregon. In a back and forth game, I got a chance to see a little bit of this. Oregon and Washington State. Washington State was leading. You know, late in the game, but Oregon came back. Number 15, Oregon came back to beat Washington State 44-41. to A great game. And again, oh, this one on there says, Ole Miss blew out Tulsa. I'm like, did anybody look at the score here? Somebody told me Ole Miss blew out Tulsa. Ole Miss beat Tulsa 35-27. to Where's that a blowout? Am I missing something here? Um, this is not a blowout. This is a very average game at best. Now we got, let's say 16 Ole Miss. Number 17, Baylor, who was a ranked team going on the road to face Iowa State. And was actually an underdog in that game, but they came out and they won it 31 to 24. Good win for Baylor. Number 18, Washington beat up on Stanford 40 to 22. 19, BYU beat up on Wyoming 38 to 24. I figured BYU, even with the injuries, wouldn't allow that many points, which has me a little bit concerned. Because if they're allowing that many points to Wyoming when they face some of the better teams, if Wyoming isn't exactly a great team in the Mountain West and on some of the schedule, they face other teams, they're gonna have trouble here. Let's talk number 20, Florida. Of course, they lost to Tennessee. Number 21, Forest lost to number 5, Clemson. <sighs> I should have gone with my gut from the beginning of the damn year. I I drank the Kool-Aid, and I'm sorry I drank it. I'm going to apologize. And salt, you know I'm talking to you. I drank the Kool-Aid thinking Texas was actually going to be talented. I gave Steve Sarkeesian the benefit of the doubt. But Texas is Texas. And they, well, stink. And what happened? Well, they stuck up the stuck up the joint and lost 37-34 to, to Texas Tech in overtime. It was a great game. 
And the thing I've said at the bottom was Texas didn't play a bad game. Just Texas Tech played better and was better, which long-term is a bigger problem because if you played your best game and you still lose, that doesn't look good for the rest of the year, and they got a lot of games coming up. West Virginia, are they going to beat Kansas? I said this before. Are they going to beat Kansas? I'm, hmm, I don't know. Number 23, Texas A&M. I already mentioned this earlier. They upset number 10, Arkansas. 23, Arkansas. Number 24, Pitt blew out Rhode Island, 45 to 24. And then everybody who watched the video from yesterday saw me wearing a blue shirt. Blue shirt because I'm not far from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, where Middle Tennessee State is, the Blue Raiders. That was the blue from the Blue Raiders shirt. Well, they go on the road. <laughs> the score is not indicating how close this game was. It was 45 to 31. Middle Tennessee State blows out Miami in Miami. They could do whatever they wanted offensively whenever they wanted to do it. Now, they got blown out by James Madison. I think they took James Madison lightly earlier in the year. But, I mean, they get on there, Miami going for it, four downs and plays. Like the, the story's coming back was the back-to-back -back plays it had in the game was a 99-yard. They got backed on their – stopped Miami on the goal line, first play through a 99-yard bomb over the top of the Miami defense. And then Miami comes back with a 92-yarder of their own the other direction. It was a high-scoring game, but they had been – they were running – They, I mean, I looked – I don't have the stats in front of me. Cunningham from Middle Tennessee State was over 400 yards passing on the Miami defense. He just sliced and diced them. It was bad, folks. I mean, is Middle Tennessee State a playoff team? I mean, not a playoff team, a, a top 25 team? No. I'll get into that tomorrow. But here's my question here. We've done the review here. I said we got 16 schools. I'm going to go over here and just kind of walk over and get the list quietly off the table here. 16 schools that are subscribers, commenters, bring up. We got, and there's no particular order. This is Todd Rowan Adams that I showed up. Tennessee, Kansas, Arizona State, Baylor. West Virginia, Kansas State, Boise State, Cincinnati, UNLV, Memphis, Texas Tech, San Diego State, Fresno State, Oregon State, Maryland, and Minnesota. 16 schools. So my question is this. Next week, or not going to make it, tomorrow morning, or tomorrow, might be tomorrow morning, I have to do it early. Um, I'm going to reannounce the AP Top 25, which I actually have right here in front of me, but this video is getting long, so I'm not going to do it right now. And then I'm going to do my Top 25 or after. But I'm also wondering on something else. Should I do a subscriber commenter ranking of the 16 schools right now we have, who's 1 through 16? Is, that, is you know, all interested in me doing that? Because that, it was, I mean, might cause some hard feelings. You're like, how can your school be better than mine? And if I do agree to do it, do I base the rankings off the AP Top 25 or off of my Top 25 or a combination of both? You know, let me know down in the comments what y'all think. And... I really appreciate some information on this one. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about this one. Let me know think if I should do that or not, or is that going to cause some hard feelings with some people? Um, I thought about it. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I'm just trying to come up with something creative here, folks. So, everybody, that's the top 25 games that have happened this week. Oh, I forgot. There's one other thing. I forgot my secondary list. Oh, my goodness. Where are my manners? I forgot some more games here, folks. Let's talk about the other games that weren't even on the rank list. I just did the top 25, so I'm going to power bone through these. Of those who are subscriber schools, I think I mentioned. How about Kansas beats Duke to go 4-0 on the year, 35-27. Cincinnati beat Indiana, blew them out, 45-24. They're 3-1 on the year. Minnesota beats up on Michigan State, called that one, 34-7. Minnesota's now 4-0. Memphis, Memphis beat North Texas, 44-34. They're now 3-1 on the year. San Diego State beat Toledo. Barely 17 to 14. Aztecs, what happened? What is going on? This is insane. They're 2 and 2 on the year. UNLV goes on the road and beats Utah State 34 to 24. UNLV, who has been one of the top 10 worst programs in the last decade, is now 3 and 1. Boise State, this is from the Saturday games, or not Saturday games, Thursday, Friday games. Boise State lost to UTEP 27 to 10. They're now 2-2 two two on the year. And West Virginia beat Virginia Tech 33-10. They're now 2-2 two two on the year. So tell me, folks, what should we do? How should we rank this? I'm going to do my AP Top 20, AP Top 25. I'm going to do my Top 25. And should I do a list? Who I think the Top 16 are? Let me know down in the comments. You know what you think I'm going to do this. All right? So I guess everybody, thanks, everybody, for watching the video. I know it's a little bit long, but thank you. 
for putting up with me this long. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. As always, like and comment. Interact with the channel. Post up. Do things. Like, comment, share. Everything. Interaction helps. It helps the analytics. It helps the channel get visible. So thank you, everybody, for doing that. And if you like this video, check out some other ones on the channel. And if you like them, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get this channel to grow here. So we can get this up to 200. Get this thing slowly but surely getting better. So thank you, everyone, for watching the video. Thanks, everyone. Let me know. On, again, let me know. Do you want me to do that subscriber list, the subscriber ranking list or not? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you, everybody, for watching the video. And as always, please.